In the first diesel exhaust fluid video, I spoke about what DEF is made up of and the importance of keeping your DEF in good condition. In this video, I'll be talking about potential issues relating to DEF and how to recognise and rectify them. Machine indicator lamps or error messages that relate to the DEF should alert operators of any problems. These can vary depending on the machine manufacturer, so it's worth becoming familiar with the type your machine uses. The user handbook is the best place to find this information. In most cases, paying attention to these lamps or messages as soon as reasonably possible can eliminate problems later. Let's start with the first common issue, low def level. Often this issue arises just because the operator wasn't aware the machine needed def. The issues with low def level shouldn't arise unless low level warnings are ignored. There will be plenty of warning to alert the operator the DEF will need topping up, starting with a low DEF level lamp. This allows the operator plenty of time to top up the DEF fluid at a convenient opportunity. However, if DEF level continues to drop, the low level DEF lamp will be accompanied with a solid emissions malfunction lamp. If the operator continues using the machine, then after a further period, the emissions malfunction lamp will start to flash. If these warnings are ignored, the engine stop lamp will illuminate and then, depending on local regulations, the engine software will either limit the engine RPM to 1000, reduce engine power or may even shut down the engine. The reduction in power, also known as a D-rate, is mandated to ensure DEF is refilled. Good news though, simply refilling the tank with DEF should reset all the lamps and D-rates and get the machine back into normal operating mode. The next issue that can arise is using DEF that's degraded. This is DEF that may have been exposed to high temperatures or too much sunlight or simply past its shelf life. Degraded DEF could reduce the required NOx conversion, triggering the engine warning lamp and emission system failure lamp. But with just warning lamps, how would we know this is an issue with a DEF? Luckily, most machines are fitted with displays providing a description of the fault associated with the lamp, giving the operator the clues needed to suspect issues with the DEF. So in this instance, a fault description of low DEF quality or low NOx conversion, although may be relating to another fault, can often be resolved by just replenishing the DEF. Just draining and refilling with known good quality diesel exhaust fluid may not only get the machine up and running again, but would also save a dealer call out. It's worth noting that if you know a machine will be left for an extended period of time, the DEF can and should be drained, so fresh DEF can be added when the machine is next needed. This is also detailed in the Operation and Maintenance Manual. Lastly, let's talk about what happens if the DEF tank has been topped up with something other than DEF. Well, this is a similar scenario to the degraded DEF but may also generate a DEF quality or low NOx conversion fault. However, simply replenishing the tank with known good quality DEF may not be enough. Other fluids added to the DEF can damage the SCR components, such as the DEF injector, pump, and possibly even the SCR catalyst. There are tests you can do to test the quality of the DEF. Litmus paper test strips can be a good way of testing if oil, namely diesel, has mistakenly made its way into the DEF tank. These test strips just need to be dipped into the DEF. If it goes dark, this indicates a presence of oil in the DEF. A refractometer can be used to measure the concentration of urea. An incorrect concentration can be an indication that other fluids may have been added. Sometimes straight water or screen wash may have been added by mistake or just excessive water content due to condensation buildup in the DEF tank. Remember, the good quality DEF should have 32.5% urea. Anything above or below this, the DEF needs to be changed. If contaminants are suspected, it's best to call your local dealer, who will follow a specific flush process and can test the system before making sure it's fit for service. So I hope these tips help. Remember, using only good quality DEF and taking immediate action with warning lamps will keep your machine up and running and avoid unnecessary downtime and costs.